Because for too long, Washington has been failing the American people, refusing to face up to the challenges that Americans face every day. You know, my sister and I were the first in our family to graduate from college. But since we went off to college, the cost of, thank you. But since we got our degrees, the cost of college has increased over a thousand percent and wages for working families have remained flat. Meanwhile, the wealth for the top 1% has more than doubled. Where does that leave the American dream? And it's not just economic insecurity. Families are worried about their safety. Just turn on the TV and you can see America faces real threats. Whether we're sending our kids off to school or going to the movies or to the mall, that's on people's minds, too. But in Washington, too many people are more concerned with pointing fingers rather than rolling up their sleeves and getting things done. That's how I do things. I'm a problem solver. Now, I know we all hear that a lot, but I have a record to back it up. I learned how to craft a compromise to get things done while working as chief of staff to Governor Bob Miller. As a federal criminal prosecutor, I put violent drug dealers behind bars. And when I was elected Attorney General in 2006 and again in 2010, I worked making a difference for the people here in Nevada. As you all know, as you all know, during the housing crisis, Nevada had the highest foreclosure rate in the country. Big banks were taking advantage of people. Over 77,000 Nevadans were threatened with foreclosure. I was one of the first attorneys general in America to sue the big banks. We, you know, we held them accountable. We held them accountable and we got $1.9 billion in relief. That's billion with a B for Nevada homeowners. And as many as you, of you know, we have a major issue with the trafficking of teenage girls for sex. Working with a lot of people in this room, we help survivors find the courage to come forward and stand up to the pimps. We passed historic reforms that increased prison time for pimps and predators. We expanded the sex offender registry, and most important, we gave survivors a path to a new beginning. There is a real hunger in this country for Democrats and Republicans to come together and get things done. As Attorney General, I worked with both parties and passed more than 40 bipartisan laws that helped Nevadans. It's what Americans want and deserve from Washington, too. What should Washington be doing? How about making college affordable? Our kids have to be able to get the degree they need to get ahead without a pile of debt that holds them back. And our economy needs to work for everyone. That means raising the minimum wage, but it also means tearing down the barriers to the middle class, a, pro a regressive tax system, anti-union policies, and job-killing trade deals. And let me tell you what Washington shouldn't be doing, telling women what to do with their bodies and their health care decisions. If Washington would only focus on the real challenges Americans face, we can make the American dream a reality again. You know, this American dream is personal for me. My mother's family came from Italy. My dad's father came from Chihuahua, Mexico, and emigrated to the United States and worked here in Las Vegas. My dad grew up in a tiny trailer in North Las Vegas. He also served in the Army and came back to Las Vegas and parked cars at the old Dunes Hotel and Casino. He worked hard. He got a job at the county prosecutor's office. 
and he went on to serve as head of the Tourism Bureau in Las Vegas, helping the city become what it is today. To me, that's the American dream, and that's what it's all about. And everyone ha should have a shot at it. Now, you've heard a little bit about this, but my opponent, Congressman Heck, he's part of the mess in Washington. He votes with the Tea Party and the right wing of his party nine times out of ten. He voted to defund Planned Parenthood. He opposed raising the minimum wage. He opposed comprehensive immigration reform. Congressman Heck even wants to abolish the Department of Education. Now, he does have one thing going for him. The Koch brothers will be all in for him trying to buy this election. I think that's supposed to scare me. But let me tell you, I've dealt with violent drug dealers. I've dealt with sex traffickers. The Koch brothers don't scare me. I can't wait to have a debate about how to move Nevada and our country forward. And with your su support, we are going to win this. The first step is to get out and caucus on February 20th. We are going to hear from three great presidential candidates tonight. And no matter who you support, we need to get out and caucus on the 20th. That's how we will pave the way for, vi for victories up and down the ballot in November. So thank you very much, and I will see you on the trail. Have a good night. Thank you.